Hello, this is Afol L. Banson and welcome to the Young Achievers Network. I trust that these podcasts are helping you move your life forward in the direction that you desire to go in. Before we go any further, I would really like you to help me grow this channel. So like this video, comment on it, share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Today we are looking at the topic, ruling yourself. How to rule yourself. Self-control is the most powerful virtue anyone can possess. Now you can mention all kinds of virtues, kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, and love. All of these hinge on self-control. Because self-control is your ability to control yourself. Although there are many circumstances beyond our control, our response to these circumstances and our ability to turn these circumstances around is largely dependent on our self-control. For example, if someone goes through a challenge, a difficulty, an accident, a trauma, something terrible happens, yes, maybe that incident might have been out of their control, but how they respond to it, what meaning they give to it, and how they use it to turn themselves around or how they allow it to sink their lives deeper is dependent on self-control. You see, how we interpret things and how we react to things determine how we move forward. Two people can go through the same experience. One person will use that experience to turn their lives around and another person will use that experience to lock themselves on a level that they don't belong on. What is self-control? It is simply restraint over our own impulses, our emotions and our desires. It is the power to control our actions, our impulses, our emotions and our desires. So you have this impulse to do something. You have this feeling to do something. You have this desire to do something. And you use your will to control that desire. That is self-control. When you act based on the impulse, the impulse to buy something, the impulse to shop, the impulse to browse on social media because you received a notification, the emotion to do something, the emotion of anger, the emotion of pity, the emotion of depression, and you decide to take an action based on that emotion, these are acts of the lack of self-control. But when you decide to use your will to act positively in spite of the way you are feeling, this is power and this is self-control. You see, the greatest power we have is the power over ourselves. As a human being, you are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. The soul is the place where our spirit, mind and emotions reside. The will is the power that enables us to control our emotions, our desires, our actions and our impulses. In essence, self-control is using the human will to control your impulses, your emotions and your desires. In other words, you are using a part of your soul to control the rest of your soul. So your will, your chooser, the part that decides what to do, that makes choices, is used to make choices according to reason, according to the outcome you want and not according to how you feel or what you desire. Sometimes how we feel and what we desire is not in our best interest. And when we use our will to make choices that will bring a favorable outcome, instead of making choices based on how we feel, we are exercising self-control. Why do we control ourselves? Because there are times when we are able to control ourselves and there are times when we are not able to control ourselves. What causes this? There are three factors. The first factor is understanding of consequences. When we understand the consequences of the actions we are taking, we take better actions. 
when we are not able to see beyond the consequences of the decisions we are making, we make irrational decisions and we end up putting ourselves in greater trouble. Secondly, the pursuit of a better outcome. When we desire an outcome that is better than what we have now, we control ourselves and we make better choices. And finally, the maintenance of reputation or credibility. When we have a certain reputation that we want to maintain, we are particular about our choices and therefore we control ourselves. Every time we have failed to control ourselves, it is because we have not understood the consequences or the outcomes, we are not in pursuit of a better outcome and we have lost sight of our reputation and our credibility. King Solomon said, He that has no control over his own spirit or his will is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So what are the consequences of not controlling yourself? Number one, you will lose everything you have worked for. One irrational decision, one decision not well thought through can mess up everything that you have done. Imagine with me, if you will, a young man, you have worked so hard, you have put your life together, you have met this woman, you've married her, and you are enjoying your marriage with this woman. And one day, you find this woman in a relationship, having an affair, committing adultery with another man. You've built your life over the past 10, 15 years with this woman. You've built a house, you've built a company, you have four wonderful children, they are attending the nicest school they can attend. Their fees are taken care of, your income is good, your businesses are doing well. And this irrational decision to take a knife and snatch the life of the man that your wife is having an affair with will put you in prison and cancel every single thing you have worked for. You've lost your marriage, you've lost your children because you are now in jail for murder and you are probably doing life. You've lost your land, you've lost your business, you've lost your houses. That one decision has cost you everything you worked for. And so when we don't control ourselves, we can lose everything we've worked for. Number two, laziness. If you have no self-control, if you don't rule yourself, the tendency that you will be lazy is very high. You see, hard work requires self-control. Smart work requires self-control. Creative work requires self-control. So you need self-control. Without that, you'll be lazy. You will sit at home all day and binge watch television. Three, you will not be able to add value to yourself and move higher in life because education requires self-control. Personal improvement, attending seminars and staying awake through those seminars, attending programs that would add value to your lives, offering distant learning courses all require self-control. Four, you will be brought to nothing by the smallest of events. A small event can bring you to nothing because you have no self-control. You dropping your clothes off and taking naked pictures of yourself and sending to some man or some woman can bring you to nothing when that person decides to go viral with those pictures and those videos. Without self-control, you will be brought to nothing. Five, you will not be successful or you will not successfully keep anything that is bequeathed to you. If your parents leave you wealth, they leave you property, they leave you assets, the lack of self-control will cause you to live beyond your means and you will squander all of that wealth. Six, without self-control, you will not be wealthy. You need self-control to create wealth. And finally, you will need self-control to have health. So without self-control, you cannot be healthy because you will not eat well, you will not exercise, you will not drink the required amount of water because you have no control over yourself. So why is self-control so important? It increases your potential for success. 
It keeps all other virtues in place. When you have self-control, your chances of succeeding is great. And every other virtue that you possess will be kept in place because of self-control. It protects everything you have acquired or accumulated. For it commands respect from others, whether they are subordinates, whether they are colleagues or mates in school, superiors or even strangers, self-control will command respect. It helps you move your life forward faster in the direction you want. And it is the bedrock of self-discipline. So let's look at the most important aspect of this discussion, which is how do we develop self-control? One, control your thoughts. When you control your thoughts, you control your emotions. And how do we do this? We control our thoughts by meditation. Number two, by prayer. And number three, by monotasking. Multitasking will get you nowhere. You need monotasking so that your mind can be focused on what you are doing. So learn to monotask. Learn to monotask. Learn to pray. Learn to meditate. Number two, be conscious of what you are doing at all times. Beware of your surroundings. Be aware of your emotions and focus on the now. Focus on the present. Three, watch the company you keep. The company you keep will make you or unmake you. Minimize your friends to a few who are trustworthy, who are dependable, who are there for you and you are also there for them. Be prepared to be alone if you have no good friends. So until you meet good friends, until you can have meaningful relationships, if the friends you have are not good for you, be prepared to walk alone. Minimize your use of social media. Social media is a disease. It will pull you into a world of likes and doing things to please people. So watch the company you keep. Four. Exercise at least three times a week. You can jog, you can skip, you can get involved in aerobics or you can get involved in weightlifting. Find an exercise to do and exercise at least three times a week. This is how we develop self-control. The final one is that you develop self-control every time you control yourself. Every time you control yourself, you strengthen your muscle for self-control. Every time you bring yourself under control, you strengthen that muscle. So brothers and sisters, my dear listeners, you have the ability to rule your own spirit. What you have to do is to exercise that ability on a daily basis. Thank you so much for spending time with us. And I hope that you share this video with your friends so that they can also use the content to help them develop their self-control. Sayonara.